I set that up, I could hear like a little rattle thing mm -hmm. in there. Hi, y'all. I'm Matt. Sorry. Hey, what's up? I'm Matt. <laughs> Yo, I'm Quentin. I got a little oaky on that one. Yeah. So, uh, November's horror block. It was weird because we got one like in the actual month that it was for, and then the other one it took like a month and a half to get to us. Oh, so. we could just take. So. They're probably tight. I don't want to cut something. They're probably but, um, tight. Yeah, this is the uh, November. Remember, you got to speak up. There's probably tape. Nope. No tape. November's horror block. I'm sorry. Ooh, internet tell us. And we did hear a rattle. Here, listen. Let's see if y'all can hear it. It's like right here in the back. So, okay. First thing, we got a shirt. Oh, wow. This looks awesome. It's a shirt with the brown and colorful Christmassy stuff. Wow. Finally, not a black shirt coming from the Nerd Block people. This is Horror Block. It's done by Nerd Block. Oh. Cthulhu. Oh, did they like join together or something? Cthulhu Christmas shirt. Did, did, did they join together? The Horror Block is done by Nerd, the Nerd Block Company. Uh, all right, the Nerd Block has a Nerd Block classic arcade and all sorts of stuff. So, a Cthulhu. Hey, yo, TV chips. This is, I know it's a dark color, but it's brown. It's not a black shirt coming from the Nerd Block people. You can let them see. Ooh, another shirt. A second shirt? Oh, we already got this one, didn't we? Yeah, what size is this one now? 2XL. Yep, because uh, your mom got one. In the classic box, I just do extra large. Or large or whatever. So we got the... Uh, Little Shop of Horror Simpsons. Your turn. Ooh, it's a letter. Nerd Block customers, he told you. Nerd Block. Mm -hmm. What? Is it the right size? Nerd Block customer. Due to a stock issue, we were unable to provide you with your correct uh, size shirt this month. To make up for this, we are providing you with a free shirt punch shirt in your size, as well as the next available size in your Nerd Block shirt. We hope this helps with the, the inconvenience. Thank you for your business. Yeah, the Cthulhu shirt's a 3X. I order a 2X. Oh, my turn. And then, so they sent me this one in a 2X. So, okay. That explains the two shirts. Cookie cutters? Yep. Fred, Freddy versus Jason cookie cutter two pack. Ronnie's gonna love that. Sacred sweet cookies, bloody red royal icing recipe. Ronnie's gonna love that. Okay. Who's the snow globe? Uh, it's a gremlin snow globe. <laughs> Your mom loves that movie, but she likes Gizmo. I'll go ahead and open that up. Oh, I hate, I hate that noise. Don't. What this noise? I <laughs> hell stop it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. A <laughs> gremlin snow. That is awesome. Does it have writing on the sides? What does it say? This is kind of like bent holes. Oh. So your mom's gonna love that. That's cute. Be a nice Christmas decoration every year. To put, to put out. To put out. To put out. To, put out. to, to quote my uh, friend Jeff Radke from the Lost Skills podcast, that'd be a good thing to put out. <laughs> Rabbit and red. Rabbit and red. It is a book. Follow the rabbit. You want to read that? You want me to? You can read it. Follow the rabbit. Bill Wise has blood in his past, so he turns to horror films to wipe it clean. Jamie Stein has felt the betrayal of death, so she, so she too takes. Okay, that was kind of weird. 
So she, she <laughs> so she too takes refuge in the on-screen deaths of others. Now Bill, Jamie, and 17 other horror-loving teens have gathered at the Rabbit in Red Studios, the brainchild of eccentric horror producer J. J. B. Bell. Oh, I knew a Jeff Bell. You did? Yeah, I'm friends with him on Facebook. For the terror-filled, blood-drenched contest of their lives. JB has presented this competition as a race between the best of the best that will reward the winners with cash, internships, and a career making the movies they love. But things aren't always as they seem at Rabbit and Red. And soon, life starts to imitate art. What will... Bill and Jamie be strong enough to confront real horror to save their friends, or will they fall victim to JB's twisted plans? Yeah. Jeff Bell um, went to school with him. I think he's a year younger than me. But I uh, went to school with him and went to church with him. So is it the author or no? <laughs> Cameron Johnson. Oh, I have the page open. Cameron Johnson, he did the cover, so follow him on uh, Facebook, Cameron Johnson Illustrated. And as you can see right here, we have a Christmas tree up, and um, since we're in a fairly small house, the place where we put our tree without completely rearranging the entire living room is right, basically right in the middle. Oh, it's your turn. No, it's your turn. I pulled up the book. Oh. I got some thing making the noise. It's a Krampus bell. Very belly. Ooh. That goes on the Christmas tree. Krampus. Now Krampus is um. Krampus is like the uh, basically in some mythologies. He's the one who uh, comes and uh, he rewards good boy, good boys and girls, but he punishes the bad ones. He'll usually put them in a sack and beat them with sticks and stuff. So oh, that's fun. Yeah, where well, should we put the Krampus? Isn't there a uh, horror movie called Krampus? Krampus and yep. he attacks a family oh, that doesn't bad. believe in my Santa. Bad. I don't know. I haven't seen it yet. I've seen previews. I haven't seen it. Yeah, I want to I wanna see it. So we got Krampus on the Christmas tree. That rhymes. Kind of. Krampus. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, my, my knees and back hurt. It's flat. Okay, there we go. Rue Morku? Rue Morg. Morg Morg. Let's scare Jessica to death. Looks like a magazine. It looks like a magazine because it is a magazine. Oh, that's fine. Ooh. Shadows on the grave. That's fun. Okay, as usual, we have our ten dollar nerd block credit for their uh, their shop. Ten dollar shirt punch credit. Um, along with, okay, this is, um, the next month is American Horror Story, along, uh, with four exclusives, along with Army of Darkness and Friday the 13th, dang, my wrist is killing me, um, let's see, this month we got the Cthulhu Awakens Holiday t-shirt, looks like it was either in brown or green, we got the brown, Freddy vs. Jason Cookie Cutter 2-pack, Krampus Bell Ornament, Rabbit in Red Book with Variant Cover. I just like that. Rabbit in Red. I like that. It just kind of rolls off the tongue. Rabbit in Rue Red. Morgue Issue 173. And then uh, Gremlin Snow Globe. We captured the gremlins in this exclusive snow globe before they could wreak havoc. Be aware of the Mogwai's innocent looks. They can still make your life a living hell. First impressions can be devastating. You know what I just realized? We gotta keep a good eye on this. Yeah. You know why? Why? Because they're getting wet. Inside there. They're getting wet inside the snow globe. Why would you do this? Gremlins cannot get wet. Why would they do that? Why can't gremlins get wet? Because they multiply. Can't eat after midnight. It's not really water. 
Yes, it is really loud. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Gremlins cannot get wet. Age is 14 and up. Not a toy. Tell that to Ronnie. Yeah. Lady in red. I'm only 13. Does that mean I can't hold Rabbit that? in red. Um, That's beautiful. Hey, you can't hold that. You're only 13. Age is 14 and up. Fight Went me. In. Fight me. Not really. I win, but you know. You do realize I'm train killer, right? <laughs> but I'll use my non-lethal weapon skills on you. So, uh, this month, so what do you think of the overall, remember we got two shirts, got the Krampus belt I mean, and cookie it cutters. Be, it could be better, but it's good. Yeah. I mean, the two shirts is awesome. Um, the rabbit in red. I don't read as much as I, I used to, just because I'm old. Yeah. I'm not old, just with work and kids and you, when you have a toddler and you're trying to read and he sees you, what you doing? I'm reading. Why? Because I want to read this book. Why? Oh, cool rabbit. Can I see it? You know, that's that's exactly what we would do. Oh, Miss Princess. So, um, yeah. Um, we got the two shirts. Come, come here. Um, I would have been upset. Not upset, but I would have been like, really? If, with, if, and I knew there was a reason I wanted to, um, uh, the nerd block... I was just like, in case they double up on shirts, I'm going to order it in a different size. That way your mom or your brother or something could wear it. No, I'm sorry. Are you okay? So now um, your mom and I have matching shirts, which there's a few shirts we have that match. Um, so, yeah, Ronnie will love these. I don't know how many times we're actually going to use them, but oh, Ronnie will love these. Hero. Yeah, because he'll probably take them into his room. He already tried to take uh, one of your brother's Christmas presents that he saw. Into his room. He goes, I just want to keep it in my room. One of my brothers. Austin's. Yeah. It, it can't be his. And you would have said your Christmas present, so it can't be mine. So it would have to be Austin's. Yeah. What if Excuse you me, he said, tried to take one of Austin's Christmas presents into the room. What was it? I can't tell you. It was Bert. I can't believe he can't. No. Yes, he can. No. Oh, it's Bert. It's Bert. No. It's Bert. Quentin. <laughs> So, um, yeah, oh, this isn't bad. The two shirts is cool, because um, anytime I'm not wearing a shirt, it's a scary thing, so I need all the shirts I can get. Um, actually, there is a video with me without a shirt on. I was recording something, and uh, I walked past a mirror, and I wasn't wearing a shirt. <laughs> At the last second, I was like, ooh! <laughs> so, uh, try and find that video. What video um, was it? What did you do in the video? I don't remember. I was just... There's something over here. And you walked by that mirror? Yeah, I walked mirror. by that mirror right there. Which, for some reason, has Ronnie's fingerprints all over it. Why are you I'm, I, I, I'm a big thing about fingerprints on <laughs> mirrors and uh, windshields. I got into the, the van one day. Fingerprints all over the windshield in front of me. I'm like, really? Remember? Yeah, you were yeah, with me. Yeah, you got mad. I was like, really? I'm like, I have to see out of this, and all I can see is fingerprints? It's like, yeah. come on. He started yelling. It was not good. I was like, are you kidding me? There's certain things I do not like, and fingerprints is on mirrors and glass is one of them. Is it one of your pet peeves? Yes, one of my pet peeves. So, you know what else is a pet peeve of mine? What? Um. 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 <clears throat> um. We should have done top four pet peeves. Yeah, maybe next time. We can delete that video and do it. No, we're not deleting that video. So, I'm going to get up yeah, and turn the video it. off because people are probably like, Oh my goodness, end the video already. Ow. No, I, I just leave videos that annoy me. I'm like, yo, bye. Say bye. Say huh? bye. What? Say bye. Say bye to who? Just say bye. Why? Because. Say bye. Say bye. I did say bye. That's Santa... <laughs> That's oh my Chris, gosh, just in the video already. That's the Krampus ornament. Say bye. Say bye. Quentin, say bye. Say bye. <laughs> Quentin, go bye. Go bye. Quentin, you know. <laughs> bye.